What's up, everybody? It's a special episode of Insider Ties, and I have to give a shout out to, let me go to my page here on YouTube and go to the comments, Chairman 7W. Your challenge, man. Kept me up late last night. Uh, I had to get my wife to come in and help me out with it. And then we had to do a gang of research. And once we did the gang of research, I don't know if you can see this. You see that we had to do all of this deciphering. And all of this came out to answer the question that's at the bottom of the page down here. With um, the Kobe code. So... Last night, we got into this um, thing where Chairman 7W actually sat down and he wrote me and he was like, yo, I got mine today. And um, he said, yo, actually, was it Chairman 7W? Yeah, any idea what the Braille symbols on the hill spell out? So that's the question. Any idea what the Braille symbols on the hill spell out? What he didn't realize is that there's Braille symbols all over the shoe. All over the shoe. So... I got into my research mode. I'm not going to try and keep this very long because it's it's one of those things that allows you to understand how Nike just does way more than anybody else when it comes to the sneaker thing, man. So we got our pictures, right? And we do a blow up of the shoes. Now there's a code here on the side and I actually have the shoes so I can show you. Matter of fact, I'll pull out yeah, you know what? This will put this in the same frame reference as the picture. Um, there's a Kobe code here and here, right? Now, there's also a Kobe code here along the bottom of the shoe right here. Uh, let's see if I can get a better picture there. And if you notice here at the front, there's a Kobe code at the front of the shoe around the front, right? And then there's an additional code that's on the collar. And then we go to the back. There's a code here at the bottom. All right. And then there's the code that goes across the back of the shoe. That's not all of the codes. The next code is here on the back of the shoe. So I have these pictures, but it really doesn't do you a lot of justice and you have to kind of figure out exactly where I'm going with this. But this is the research that it took. And I was up until 12. I didn't get to watch Punisher, do any binge watching or, watching or anything else. And it's all Chairman 7W's fault, but we did figure it out. We decoded it and we found a video. So I wanted to give a shout out on um, video to uh, Vera. So I found this video and he had this chart. Now, unfortunately for me, I didn't find this video until after I did all of this by myself. Now, what helped me to get to this point? The Nike article on the masterpiece. Now, the masterpiece was the Kobe 9. It looks like a boxer shooter, really tall one. At the end of the article, Eric Guevara talks about, and with Kobe, they talk about the code, keep people guessing. But... The Kobe code has appeared on every shoe since, I think, the 5. All right. So it started with the Kobe 5, and it's been that way since. So uh, you have to excuse the beeping in the back. It's like time for people to start getting ready. But I also found this page from A Wilder Mode. All of these links, hopefully you can see them up here at the top. But this helped also because he gave me this opportunity to look at Masterpiece to Word and actually look at the back of the masterpiece, which helped me to do this. So let's get to it. One at a time, we'll go through the shoe and break down the code. All right. Both shoes, front of the shoe, right here on the side, here, here. That is, I'm calling the forefoot. And I really shouldn't give it away to you guys because I should make you work for it. Just like I had to work for it. But enter battle. Enter battle. All right. So the front of the shoe, forefoot, enter battle. You can decipher it yourself and see if you can figure it out. But it says enter battle. Got it? All right. That's the forefoot. 
the collar here and here ad for kobe ad ad all right now the heel outsole in the back ge on the back of the shoe right here in the black and it's the same on both of them it's ge i haven't quite figured that out yet but i thought it would have something to do with one shoe having a ge and the other but it doesn't all right it's GE. If somebody can figure that one out, explain it to me. All right. Now, on the side of the shoe here, same on the other shoe here, that long part that's on the outsole lateral underneath right here is Genesis. Genesis. That's the Kobe code that's here. So the outsole, the lateral outsole Kobe code says Genesis. All right, so that's Genesis. Um, here on the side of the shoe, same thing on this side of the shoe, it says AD again. So AD is on both sides of the shoe, on the collar and down at the bottom. Um, let me see, am I missing one? Right heel, right heel. If you look at the back of the right, it's not the same as the left. So I'm missing both of those. I haven't told you this one either, right? The logo here is KB. So K and B on the back. Kobe Bryant. And it's around the sheath. Okay. Now the opposite shoe, which is a lot longer. This shoe, I should just not give it to you, but I will. Homeboy that was on the other station where I got the Kobe Cold chart from. He thought it was like um some word that started with a D. It's not. It's within. Within. So within Kobe Bryant, the Genesis allows him to enter battle. Bang. AD. You got it? Deciphering codes. We got it. We won. And I'm going to enjoy some Punisher because we earned it. Shout out my wife for helping me with that. See you guys on the next one. Peace.